Math Styles. Today we're making a hairband braid that goes over the top of my head. And then the rest of the braid becomes a super cool spiral flower at the side. Supplies. You're gonna need a brush, a comb, small elastics, a big elastic to tie back your hair, bobby pins, and hairspray. First, brush your hair. Next, plan where you want the spiral flower to go. Create a section of hair at the very front of your head, roughly about one inch or two and a half centimeters wide. This becomes the braided hairband. Take the rest of your hair and tie it back with a big elastic so it won't get in the way while you braid. Now start braiding from the opposite side of where you want the flower to end up, in a French braid pattern. To do a French braid, split the section of hair you have into thirds, or three strands, and add a little bit more hair to each strand as you braid across your head. Pull it tight to keep it close to the scalp as you go. After you run out of hair to add, keep braiding the braid with what hair you have left. Here's the trick to making the flower. Pinch each braid loop on one side of the braid so it looks fuller. And you'll do this is so you have petals in your spiral flower. See? You're already starting to create it. Use a tiny elastic to secure the bottom of the braid. Now it's spiral time. Roll the braid into a spiral to make the flower. Use a bobby pin at each turn to secure it to your head. Keep wrapping the spiral by pinning the braid. You're gonna need a lot of bobby pins for this. Speaking of spirals, did you know that a sunflower has a natural spiral in it? You can also see spirals on seashells, ferns, pine cones, and even a seahorse's tail. And that's just a start. Now that you have the braid rolled into a flower, pin the end of the braid into the center. And don't forget to tuck away the elastic. There you go. Mist with hairspray and smooth away any stray strands. Let the rest of your hair down and you're good to go with your spiral braid. Try this look with your friends. We guarantee they'll want to know how you did it.